so we will start by deleting everything from the scene so press shift a and delete then we add the reference image so press shift a image reference so i got this reference image from google so if you want i'll provide the link in the description you can download it so once you load the reference image you can see that it is not properly aligned so to align it press alt r then select the image and rotate it along the x-axis at 90 degree then press 1 on the numpad to go into the front view go to object data properties and click on opacity so that you can look through the image and decrease the opacity value and then align the image once you align it press shift a to add a circle and then align the circle to the reference image then go into the edit mode press a to select all and go into the wireframe mode and press e to extrude and z to extrude it along the z axis so we will extrude it till here press e to extrude again and z to extrude it along the z axis and let's actually it till here and scale it along the x axis then we press e to extrude again g along the z axis then we add a loop cut here scale it along the x axis and select the top part press e to extrude again along the z axis and add a loop cut again and extrude and scale it along the x axis so keep doing this process so once you reach here press e to extrude again and extrude it all the way till here then press e to extrude s to scale then press e to extrude again along the z axis extrude it till here press e to extrude again s to scale e to extrude again e to extrude s to scale and then press e to extrude it again press e and s to scale and then press e to extrude it again all the way till here So now if we go into the solid mode, we can see we have a good looking bottle shape. Now go into the wireframe mode again and select the bottom part. And now we will model the bottom part. So press E to extrude, S to scale. We scale it till here. E to extrude again along the Z axis. Scale it. E scale it and press e to extrude again scale it a bit e to extrude again along the z axis scale it and e to extrude again and scale it now let's go into the modifier staff and add a subdivision surface modifier increase the levels to 3 and the render to 3 as well. Right click to shade it smooth. Now you can see we are done with the modeling. So in the next video we will add some materials to the bottle. So I hope you like the video. If you like it then please hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.